Happy Thursday morning. I am Kirk Yonke, and here's a look at some of the stories that we're working on for Daybreak. It's about quarter till five as I record this, so we're just getting ready to go on the air here. And uh, the first big story that we're talking about today is out of El Mirage, and that city's city manager is officially stepping down. In fact, if you're in El Mirage, you don't have a city manager at this point. The uh, city attorney apparently is going to take over as interim city manager. It's all about this controversy regarding firefighters. And uh, the current city manager refused to uh, get those firefighters back on the job. There was a meeting last night. The city council decided to accept his resignation. And now the interim city manager is vowing that he will, in fact, get those firefighters back on the job. There was a big public safety concern here. So we'll talk more about that on Daybreak. Also, just coming down on the wires about an hour and a half ago, Blockbuster Video, big national video chain, has filed for bankruptcy. This is a company that's been struggling as they've been facing some pretty fierce competition from companies like Redbox, those rental boxes you see all over the place, as well as Netflix, the, the mail order DVD rental service that uh, has kind of changed the whole landscape of the video rental industry. Now Blockbuster filing for bankruptcy, but that doesn't mean Blockbuster is gone, going away, or disappearing. We'll tell you why Blockbuster is going to stick around and why they're not going anywhere. Uh, also, there's been some hearings going on in regards to the terror threat in our country. And uh, yesterday, there was kind of an altercation between uh, Janet Napolitano, who's the head of Homeland Security, and Senator John McCain. A little disagreement on what's going on in our border. So we'll play that for you, talk more about that, and what they're going to be talking specifically about today, because they have another big topic today in regard to Homeland Security and terror threats. On top of that, we want to talk about Tempe Town Lake. Yesterday, we told you the, that Ironman competition is coming up pretty soon, and there's some concern that uh, things wouldn't be ready for, th for that. Well, now, not only are we hearing from Tempe that things will be ready for that, but they're giving us a specific reason. Now that their investigation has wrapped up, they're saying they, they know exactly what happened, why it happened, and they have a plan to make sure this sort of thing doesn't happen again. They, they say November 1st, though, by the way is the date they'll have Tempe Town Lake filled back up. So we'll follow that story. We'll give you the latest on that. We've got some other stories that we're following, too, an update on that quadruple shooting that we told you about uh, yesterday on Daybreak. We have more information as to what's going on there, what investigators are now looking into. So we hope you'll join us. We're on air from 5 until 7. We're always on at abc15.com, and we invite you to check out our new news talk show, Now at 9. That's on at 9 o'clock until 10 o'clock. A busy morning. We'll be tracking breaking news as it happens in the Valley as well, so stay tuned for that. Have a great Thursday.